YouTube family. So I've been out here working my butt off and uh, it's hot, it rained, then it stopped raining, then it got more hot and humid. But um, I figured I'd break out the camera, show y'all some of the work I'm doing. I've actually started cutting up more of this tree. We're thinking uh, I need, I'm cleaning all this up. I want to rake all of this too. Clean up our driveway right here and walkway, trail, whatever. We're always seeing these hornets every time we come over here. If I can get them on the camera here. Where is he? Right there. So these little guys, every time we walk by this log, he comes out and he's like, what are you doing? And he just kind of checks you out. I don't know, I guess making sure you don't go close to wherever his spot is. They seem uh, pretty curious and all right. They don't seem mean. They don't give me a bad feeling or the willies, the chills or anything like that. They just seem all right. Pretty much every morning when I wake up in the tent, I kind of get woke up by the sound of that. Like him flying around the tent, checking everything out. Then I'll come out, fix me a cup of coffee, and I'll sit there in front of the tent and he'll just fly. He'll land on something to sit there and look at me. I'm thinking Holly pointed this out. We're thinking they could have a nest in here. I don't know if they nest in holes or if uh, they nest in trees somewhere, like a hanging nest. I don't know how these things work, so I guess I have to uh, re research them and where they make their nest. But uh, I was thinking right here, this might have to be the hornet corner or something. But anyway, I cut all of this up, the rest of this tree. We made one video of cutting that, up, that part up to clear open this road up stacked it there so I've been cutting this up and I've been carrying it down over to the campstead over here and splitting it and pretty much burning that wood um, I'm using the pine I'm just when I cut these pine trees these big ones I'm stacking those to let them sit all summer that should be great burning wood for winter hopefully and I also started working over here because I want from the campstead all the way out that way to where the shelter is and we cleared all that down to where the generator stand is down there. We cleared all that out so I want to clear all this out, clean this up I guess the next week or however long and just kind of work on clearing all these tiny little trees and the brush and clear all this out and then we have another trail right here going in between so that's another cool trail so we can clear all this out that way you just have a view of all that from over here so that's what i'm picturing and i'm about to make it happen these rocks have gold. gold in them. In them? Yeah. And where you find rocks like this, you can find gold. People have been telling me to get a metal detector and look for the gold in our hills. So all we have to do dig. is dig <laughs> to find our gold. So instead of building a campground, we should just start mining this place. <laughs> to get us some dynamite and just start blowing this place up. That's exactly yeah. why I want acres. Just for that. Right there. This little boy to keep him happy. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. We 
clean up this whole area and make it our little campground. There's literally gold powder on everything. What? And I don't know what that means. See, see this right there? <laughs> like, I don't even know what, Look! what that is. My finger! <laughs> Go get it. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm just saying, we might want to... Uh, you might want to dig for gold. <laughs> Why? Because it's fun to dream. Look! <laughs> it's it's all over everything. Like I don't I don't know if the camera's picking up the sparkle, but it definitely sparkles. I just don't know anything about gold panning. Panning for gold. <laughs> but uh, you know could be pretty interesting. It's everywhere! <laughs> so here's the campstead. Right here, right? And I did not notice this, but look at this tree. Listen to this. Hear how dead that is in spots? Like that is a dead freaking tree. And look how big this freaking thing is. That is a big tree. The thing is huge. And it's right by the freaking tent. If I'd have noticed that before I put up the tent, I'd have dropped it first before I even set this up. So to drop this big tree, you can see that the top is very dead. So this is a dangerous one. That whole top, once you start shaking this tree, that whole top can fall off. So this is a pretty dang dangerous tall tree. Um, looking at it straight up like this, it could go a matter of a couple of different ways. Um, it could kind of be going that way. And that would suck, because I just did this stuff. It ain't no big deal, whatever, I could live without it. That's just decorative crap that I've just been messing around with. So it's not that important. So I could, I could drop this tree straight that way. Which now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might do that. Because it does look like it's kind of, it would maybe go that way pretty easy maybe not the problem is is this tree it's gonna want to hit this tree so if it's coming this way it's gonna want to hit this tree so that's definitely not going to work so I can't fall it I can't fall it that way because the top's gonna hit this this one so that leaves me pretty much it would want to go that way. I could probably drop it pretty clean that way maybe. It ain't moving in the wind, maybe a little bit. So I could drop it straight that way. But I'd have to definitely take out that tree right there first. That one would definitely have to go to clear. And then it'll probably hit the top of that tree. Them branches up there. So I would hope that those branches give in and let the whole tree fall. Because it sucks when you try to drop a tree like this big. And it gets stuck in the top of another tree. That's just... That's the worst. One good thing about it is it's super dry and dead. 
So it wouldn't make good lumber. It's probably too dry and too far gone to use as lumber. There might be a couple pieces in there, but I doubt it. So this will definitely be firewood. I think it would definitely go that way easy too. So I think I'm going for that way. But still I'm sketchy about the tent. I mean, I do have these trees kind of, those three trees kind of protecting the tent. So I think it should be okay. I just have to take that tree out and just cut this thing where it falls straight that way. That would be very nice. What does that look like to you guys? <laughs> I gotta show Chris, I guess. So I guess the question is, do I wanna drop this thing right now? Or do I just wanna keep working with some small stuff, clearing that out for the time being, and do this big tree later? If I cut that down, there ain't no way I'm cutting it all up right now. It'll just be a huge tree laying here for a little bit. And probably cut it up a little bit at a time. When you look at it from this angle, I guess it's still pretty straight up. The top kind of throws you off because it does look like it has a lean to it. But I think I could easily follow that right towards me this way with no problem. And when, as you can see, it'll fall right through those trees and hit this one, which is the one I'm talking about that I would have to cut down. Take this one out of the way and then hopefully that would have a clean shot to fall right through those trees. straight that way. See one reason this tree is so important to go ahead and fell it, whatever, lay this thing down, is because if we get a storm or a real strong winds, the top of that tree could fall off. And all it would take is for it to go that way like that, bam, can it be dead. I'm normally, I'm normally not nervous about dropping a tree like that. It's just all the trees around it and then I got my lovely camp stead that I just put up. I could be smart and take the extra time, take the tent down and move it out of the way. I could do that. That would be smart. That would be smart. And then not taking it down and just Um, getting that tree out of the way, felling it that way, and then having the skills and dropping it that way and making it all happen right without anything going wrong, that could be smart too. But then, there's always a slight chance something could go wrong. And you could it could just, just all go that way for some freaking reason, which it shouldn't. But that could happen too. I mean, there's always, hey, you've seen the tree fail videos, right? I mean, but uh, I really want to eliminate this danger. I really want to eliminate that danger because I put my freaking camp stead in one heck of a danger spot. <sighs> and there's also, when you're cutting a tree, there's always the danger of that falling while you're cutting the tree too. Because the vibrations of the chainsaw kind of vibrate the tree, especially a dead tree. I think I'm about to fell a big ass tree. So now I need to clear some of these small trees out. So I got a little bit of clearing in here to do first. Cause I don't want this to drop all in that mess where I'm all in that mess trying to 
cut it up. So I gotta take a bunch of these down, clear this area out, give this thing room to fall because it's gonna go right in there. So all that little bit of stuff I gotta neaten up, get out of my way. All right, I just went through here like freaking Taz. So I done made a big old mess. I gotta drag some of this out of the way a little bit just in front of the big guy. Kind of clear some of this out, drag some of this. I went ahead and notched this dude. That way uh, it's gonna fall. I kind of have it actually not going towards that tree, but I think it's gonna fall that way. Once I cut the back, yes, yeah, kind of. It's kind of facing that way. So it should fall right through there with no problem. This is a pretty dang, actually pretty big tree. This is a, this is one of the bigger ones that I've cut down so far. I haven't really cut any this big down except for a bunch of these dang pine trees. But uh, that's actually a nice piece of wood there. So probably gonna use that for something something nice because that's a nice piece of hardwood I believe that is oak white oak I do believe so I'm gonna drag some of this stuff out of the way and I'm gonna drop this big dude That's awesome. That's awesome right there, how the one dang thing you didn't cut down, it lands on top of it. Look at that crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. The one tree I freaking left right here, out of all the stuff I cut down, it landed right on top of that dang thing. Anyway, that's, that's all right. Um, I'm just gonna have to come because I'm probably gonna use this for something. So I guess I'm gonna measure it about 10 foot. Yeah, I guess I'll measure it about 10 foot and then cut it. Cut it in half right there. And then uh, I'll save that part. And then all this, I'll just cut it up in the links. So it being out there might actually make it easy to uh, cut the links off of it until the top gets heavy so that works oh and I left this stump a little bit high I figured that would be a good uh, chainsaw sharpening stump right there be a good spot to sharpen the chainsaw right by the camp stead so thinking about doing the same thing with this one actually cutting it a little bit high so you kind of have a work work stump I don't know I'm not sure but yeah I'm probably gonna cut it up high so I don't have to bend down too much anyway um, just hope for the best man I'm just gonna hope for the best 
Hope it's not fool's gold. <laughs> okay, so Chris thinks it's fool's gold, which is mica, I think. Um, which probably <laughs> it's probably fool's gold <laughs> because they say like the, if you have like soil with like high iron oxide oxides, you'll see like it'll be heavily prominent around um, red clays. Um, but there's there's a way to test it to see if it's fool's gold or mica. And all it all it takes is a magnet. Huh. Y'all ready for this? It's a big tree. Check this out though. Tell me that don't look a lot nicer and more open now. Look at that. So uh, look at that tree still on top of that ding. The other dead tree. So I gotta eventually get that down when I start clearing all this out. But that looks a lot nicer and more cleared out right there. So the more we clear out in here, just the nicer it's gonna look. Just leave the big trees and just have a nice cleared out camp area so I guess it is time see if we could take this dude down without destroying anything pretty big knots. That is a pretty nice size knots there. And oh. about halfway through the tree. So that's definitely a good knot. And the notch is pretty much facing that way. So it might actually hit that pine tree. I don't care. I hope it goes at least through that. I wanted to aim that way. It just seems too risky with the tent there trying to go like that. Then it could hit that tree, go that way and just tear stuff up. I don't want it right there. So I'm just gonna take my chances heading that way. So, as you can see, my notch is that way, my hand's that way. So, it's aiming straight towards there. Okay, so look on this leaf. Okay, you see how it sparkles like gold? Well, this is either gold or it's mica. And the, the way to test it is to see if it sticks to a magnet. Mica will, will stick to a magnet due to the high iron uh, sulfites or whatever. And real gold will not. So I'm going to take this leaf. And I mean there's, there's quite a few like little... I am such a nerd. I am into this. And Chris is just like, it's fool's gold, Holly. Chill. <laughs> so I'm thinking there's enough here to, you know, to kind of see if it will stick. And I'm just saying, if it doesn't stick, <laughs> I mean, what 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 am I supposed to say? If it doesn't stick, I'm gonna be excited to pan for gold. <laughs>
even though I highly doubt that um, anyone got rich off of um, panning for gold powder. I don't know though. I mean, I'm sure it would take a heck of a lot of sifting through the red clay to get like, you know, a little gram of gold powder. But either way, it's been raining for three days and I have nothing else to do, so I'm going to pan for gold. Yep, it's gonna go the other way, I'll say it. Ah. Damn it. Well, it is definitely going the other way. It is going the opposite way. Like I said, it could go that way. Or it could go that way. And damn sure, it's gonna go that way. Dang it. Right across the trail. So I gotta move. Oh, let me move my tools here. That tree is ready. Look at it. It is leaning. It is leaning bad. So let's move some stuff out of here. Golly. Oh, I kinda think I wanna move my stump too. I like my stump, but I don't think I think it's kinda going towards the fence. I think he's gonna go right towards that damn fence. Cause it's kinda leaning that way. It's gonna go right by the fence, I hope. Right there. So I guess I can move my firewood right there. Ah, freak, man. Now it's gonna go right in there. Like I said, watch those chainsaw videos, man. Don't always go the way you want it to. So I was watching these YouTube videos talking about how to extract the gold powder from the clay and you literally just use water and you know kind of mix it all around and the gold if it's real gold it'll be the heaviest thing it'll be heavier than the clay so it will go to the bottom and you can you know what I don't even have to explain it I guess I'll just do it. Cause I'm pretty interested at this point and there's nothing else for me to do but search for gold. <laughs> All right, see that sparkling right there? I'm going to see if a magnet, since that's big enough, I'm going to see if it'll stick to a magnet. Let's test that first because all of the pieces are so tiny. It's like powder at this point, but that one's just big enough to test the magnet.
you down. All right. Can you see it on my... <laughs> Can you see it on my finger? Yeah, I think you can see it. Okay, so we're going to see if this <laughs> sticks to the magnet. So, the little piece of gold is right there. Okay, you can see it. Oh my gosh, my hands are so slow. See, that is not sticking to that magnet. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not sticking. That is not sticking to the magnet. We will wave the magnet over it to see if it will pick it up. <laughs> Alright, there's a little piece of gold magnet. Nope. <laughs> I'm just saying, what does that tell you guys? The magnet is not picking it up. And there would be only run one reason for that. As far as science is concerned, let's try it again. Tiny little piece of gold that you can barely see. Magnet. Wave it over the gold. It should totally stick. It does not. <laughs> what I'm saying? Because that, my friend, is a tiny little piece of gold that won't stick to a magnet. And Chris could care less. So I'm claiming the gold for myself. Like a little leprechaun. <laughs> I don't think it's fool's gold. All right, so my tree failing went a little backwards, but I have to say I didn't die in my sleep, right? So I didn't get crushed to death. <sighs> the, the tree fell the opposite way I was planning. But hey, it ain't in the world. I didn't mess anything up, so. Didn't even hit my fence. How about that shit? So now I got me a big old Big ol' dang tree. And you can tell how all the bark fell off. Oh, I see decent wood in there. I don't know. I don't know. Firewood. Mostly firewood, I guess. I don't know. I could when I cut through it, I'll see how hard it is. Cause that could be some uh, nice lumber there oak hey if you frame up a dang a deck and a cabin on a deck out of all oak you, you can't go wrong with that oh that'll way outlast pine for sure that you buy in the stores but you don't want it too weathered like you want dry lumber but you don't want super dry weathered rotten lumber so more than likely there's gonna be some firewood but that is some nice wood i mean not only not only framing stuff up i mean woodwork some of this could be great for woodwork too once i once i get set up to where i can start making stuff i mean you can make nice furniture tables all kinds of stuff out of wood like this so I really would hate to uh, turn it all into firewood maybe the top half and then maybe I'll see if I can mill a few pieces off of this and I don't know 
anyway, I got the tree down. I've been rambling this whole video, I think. The whole time, I think I've been rambling. But, uh, I got the job done. The danger is eliminated, so now I can sleep way better at night knowing that that dead thing isn't over my head. Literally right over my head. So that threat is gone. The worry has gone. So now I'm happy. So, um, and nothing went wrong too bad. Nothing got damaged. Nobody got hurt. <sighs> Blessed. Blessed for another day. I am dead. I am beat down. I worked my butt off today. Got a ton accomplished, so I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. About to take me a dang bath, get all this sweat and sawdust off me. Then I'll get back in it tomorrow. Start burning some of this stuff, start cutting some of this stuff up, and stacking some of these dang logs. So. Anyway, uh, well, thanks for joining me on my chainsaw action-filled day. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Love you guys. Um, I guess we'll see what we got for y'all next. Later.